Well, hey, friends, this is Jennifer, and this is The Jennifer Allwood Show, the podcast for women who want to find freedom in both their life and in their business. I own a multi seven figure a year coaching business. I'm also a certified life coach. So I have the honor of helping thousands of women every single month make money in the online space and help them to get unstuck from whatever is holding them back, all without sacrificing their faith or their family. In this show, you're going to get the very best life and business advice, always with a healthy dose of Jesus. So buckle in, my friend. I'm so excited that you are here. All right, friends, welcome back to the podcast. I'm super excited to continue our business transformation series with you. I have a really incredible guest today. Her name is Megan Lorson. And if you guys have been following along with some of the mastermind clients that I've been interviewing, um, you know, I've been talking to them about how they leverage coaching in their own business. And what's really cool about Megan is she owns um, Megan Lorson of Bridal Hair by Megan Lorson. And so I think I just said that completely wrong, didn't I, Megan? <laughs> Megan you owns got Bridal it. Hair okay. by Megan Lorson. And so um, what I love is that she has a business that some of you may think, well, how does she do like coaching or consulting when she does hair? So we're going to talk about that today and it's going to blow your mind. So real quick, want to let you know that this episode is brought to you by Good Ranchers. You can go to goodranchers.com and order meat to be delivered directly to your doorstep. And if you use the code GEN20 at checkout, you do get $20 off of your order. So that's J-E-N-2-0 for $20 off of your order. So, all right. Megan is such a fun person to have in my mastermind. Megan, welcome here today to the podcast as well. I'm super excited to talk to you. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate you asking me to do this. And I'm I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. And I love that both you and your mom, can I say that out loud, are in my mastermind. And how cool is that? That is so cool. Is that weird to you or is that cool to you? It's cool and crazy, but I mean, we've worked together for years. So yes. Yeah. And so together, <laughs> people have probably heard me talk about your mom, um, Tracy Lazau. And so Tracy is also in the mastermind. Megan's in the mastermind. And so Megan, I want you to tell people where you're at and what it is that you do. So I am right now I'm lo- located in Virginia and I have my bridal business here in Virginia. And, um, I started my bridal business full time t- almost three years ago now and made the decision to go full-time in my bridal business just three months before having my little girl. Um, I was actually, my mom and I opened a salon together Mm -hmm. and we had the salon for six years and um, decided to go full-time in my bridal business just three months before having my little girl. And then shortly after, about a year or so after, I started coaching and educating people on bridal hair and how to start and grow their bridal businesses. So That is what I do now. Okay. So tell us about like what happened that made you go from the doing the hair to actually want to teach other people to doing the hair. Because I know from back when I owned my decorative painting company that there were a lot of people in my industry who were a not excited that I was teaching the tick, the tips and the tricks and you know, all the things to DIYers. They were not happy about that. Um, and because they just, you know, they wanted some of our industry secrets, I think for some, in some degree to be keep kept to ourselves. And so like, how did you make that decision that you wanted to go from doing the hair to also teaching others how to do that? Was that a hard decision or was that just kind of little at a time? Um, it was a very easy decision for me. I personally have always loved educating and inspiring and helping people. And, um, I was actually an educator prior in the hair industry, but I was educating with color and cutting and things like that. And I actually educated with Paul Mitchell about five years and then did some independent education, um, just social media classes and like my own personal. Um, so I've always really just been super passionate about helping people mm-hmm. learn and grow. I feel like when I learn something new and it changes my life or impacts my life significantly, I just want to share it with other people. And so I knew that I wanted to quickly learn, invest in my education to grow my bridal business. But then once things started clicking and once, to be honest, the, just having my bridal business like changed my life because it allowed me to stay at home with my little yes. girl and yes. spend time with her. And so I wanted to help other moms and other people do the same thing because I hear moms and people all the time say, I wish I could come, you know, be done with working behind the chair and go full time and be at home with my kids. And so many moms want to be able to do that. And so uh, that's why I teach bridal hair, because to me, it's the best of both worlds. You work weekends, you get to choose your work schedule, but it gives you lots of time freedom during the week to spend with your kids 
and spend time with your family and do the things that matter most to you. Yeah. I love that. Megan, could I ask do you, would you mind sharing how old you are? I'm 26. Okay. So, and I, you are the youngest person we have in my mastermind, which I love, but That's what I was the reason, <laughs> the reason why I wanted to ask you is because I am certain that there are some women my age right now who have daughters who are your age, who their daughters are wanting to get out of a nine to five. They're wanting, and maybe they're in the hair industry, but also maybe not. And so if that's you listening right now, stop what you're doing right now. And I want you to like share this to your daughter, because what I love about you is that, um, you were doing like teaching and coaching, even when you were younger than this. I mean, how, how old were you when you started doing some teaching for Paul Mitchell? You had to have been like 21. (laughs) <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I and so did you, were you just like, kind of like, I don't want to say born that way, or did somebody just one day come to you and tap you on the shoulder and they're like, Hey, Megan, would you teach this thing? And did you do it scared? Or how did you, how did you kind of figure out, you know what, I'm actually really good at teaching people because you are so young. So talk about that if you would. Um, so we would have educators come into our salon every now and then and teach classes. And I remember one of them saying to me one time, Hey, you should consider teaching with Paul Mitchell. I think you'd be really good at it. And, um, we had so many apprentices from a local cosmetology school come into our salon and they would shadow for the day. So I would just talk to them and teach them. And from, since I can, I don't know how old I was, probably 17 or 18. And I started making Facebook live videos, just doing hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, and teaching people how to do their hair and makeup. Um, so even from like 18, I feel like it started then just making video content and teaching people how to do things. And it just like fuels me. Um, and so I kind of started to get a little bit of that then, and then it just kind of grew and grew. And, um, I did all of it super, super scared. Um, and it's still scary, but I've learned now that, um, I don't know how to say this, but just being scared is something I've gotten used to Mm -hmm. and it's kind of thrilling and exciting, um, all at the same time, but it's like, once you just get over that, you just keep doing it more and more and more. And, um, yeah, but Mm -hmm. I've pretty much fell in love with educating since I was probably like 18. (laughs) Well, and I love that. And I think it's so important for women to hear that you just did it afraid because a lot of women who are listening to this podcast right now, they might have something, Megan, that, you know, a talent that they, you know, maybe are just even hearing you talk about what your talents are. I mean, you were really good at hair and makeup and that matters. By the way, my daughter, Ava is so good at hair and makeup. So I would not be shocked if she ends up in that industry one day. Future hairstylist. I know, right? But you, I love that you're like, you recognize that you had kind of a knack or something, you had a gift for something and that somebody else saw that potential in you for the teaching. I love that. And I love that I get to do that so often with the women that I coach because they, everybody has gifts and talents. I mean, literally the Bible says that, um, I think it's in first Peter four ten that we're all given talents that God expects us to use on the side of heaven. But so many women will think, well, I'm not really good at something. And I love that you were like, I knew that I was good at this. And then I just kind of started it and I started doing it afraid. I am so excited to share with you guys this company of amazing people. It's called Good Ranchers. It's American meat that is delivered straight to your door. So they have all kinds of amazing meat boxes and different subscriptions that you can have sent straight to you. And in doing so, you're supporting American farms and enjoying the best cuts of beef, chicken, pork, and seafood that are all produced from Good Ranchers. So if you subscribe and use my code, you get $20 off and, and listen to this free bacon for an entire year. So go to goodranchers.com and use the code gen20. That's J E N two zero. When you go to goodranchers.com, cannot wait to see how you enjoy it. Like we do. And so when did you officially make that leap into coaching then? When did that become like a full-time thing in your business? How long ago? Uh, actually pretty recently. So last November, November, 2022, I decided I'm making my course and I'm going to, um, just put it out there. And I've had a lot of people messaging me, DMing me, asking me questions about how I got started in the bridal industry. And a lot of people, um, I put some YouTube videos out and people would message me and be like, wow, I totally resonated with your story about 
wanting to stay at home with your kids. And it just got me thinking like, I need to make a course on this because yes. it has truly changed my life. So I now want to help other people do it. Um, but I also want to make money teaching people yeah. how to do it. Um, because I spent a lot of money on learning and educating. Um, but I also want to, you know, help other people do that yes. same thing. So I know because I used to do, you know, in a different industry, but I used to teach other people how to do what it was that I was doing. And so you're doing the same thing. You're now teaching people how they can do bridal hair. How did you, and maybe you didn't have to because you're young and all of the things, but did you ever have to like um, convince yourself that you were not creating your own competition? Did you ever have to like, because people would ask me that all the time. Aren't you worried that you're teaching other people how to do what you do? And I was never worried about it. I don't know why it never yeah. occurred to me that I was going to be, and even now like coaching people, if I can coach somebody to my size business or beyond, and I have several people who I've coached who have bigger businesses than what I do, then I feel like I did a really good job, you know, and I just get to be yeah. this little tiny, like part of their story. But there are some people who are afraid to teach the thing that, you know, makes them really good. So what would you say to that person? I would say, so it crosses your mind when you start to create a course, because obviously before I went full-time in my, my bridal business, I was researching, I was looking at all the people that have courses. Yep. And one of the things is, is like, oh, I don't want to copy anybody. I don't want to, yes. but what I also realized and what everybody has inside of them is a different and unique perspective 100%. on how they teach and the people you reach. So somebody that might resonate with me and my story, the other bridal educators over here, other people are going to relate to them and their story in a different way. And so each one of us has a different way of teaching. We have a different story and every business is so different and unique to that individual person. And so I think everybody, there's so much room for anybody. I, I personally love that no longer look at anything as like anyone as competition. Um, I only look at myself as the competition and like, how can I better myself? How can I improve my teaching? Um, I, I just think there's so much opportunity for everybody out there in any yes. field. Yes. So I love that because it's such a a smaller mentality to be worried about people like stealing your tips and tricks and going and doing it on their own, because sometimes that happens. And the the truth is, but nobody's going to do it just like you. And, you know, God's a really good accountant. So he keeps track of all of that and, and, you know, levels things out. And so I think we just have to believe that. So um, right now is the goal to just continue going in on the coaching, just to allow yourself more freedom at home with your family. Is that kind of what you're working into? Yes, absolutely. Um, so the the first couple years of my bridal business, I hustled, I took all the weddings, I hustled, hustled, hustled. And, um, so this year I'm scaling back and I've raised my prices on my bridal services. So I'm still making more, but and raise them substantially, which you needed to do because you are so skilled. Yes. Thanks to you. Yeah. Well, Um, (laughs) you did it. You did it. You were brave enough to do it. Yes. Sometimes you just need that additional person to like say, yes, like you need that confirmation. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so I've raised my prices and I am scaling back this year and really focusing on my education business and growing that and improving that as much as I can. So that way I can scale back even more, um, have a little bit more of that passive income coming in, but more time with family and the things that matter most to me. Yeah. I love that so much. And I love that your mom does hair extensions. And so you guys are doing like two totally different things, but yeah. both like transitioning into the teaching space. So, yeah, okay. all right. So tell me real quick, Megan, for someone who's at home, um, who maybe is a stylist, like, you know, what you were and still are in a lot of ways, but um, what would you tell her for someone who's like, I just want to get out from behind the chair. I mean, I know from coaching, you know, both you and your mom, that's kind of the phrase in your industry because people do get exhausted and the only time you're making money when you're in that industry is usually when you're actively working and you're on your feet and it's a lot of late hours. It's just a lot of hours, period. So how could we encourage someone else today who's maybe in the stylist industry or even other industries um, to maybe encourage them that there are other ways of making money just besides, you know, being on their feet all day? Um, Utilize social media, social media, period. Yes. Yes. Um, Social media is literally your avenue for anything you want to do in life. Mm-hmm. Um, I have used it so many times to pivot. Um, but 
just start putting yourself out there, whatever it is you want to do, just start putting it out there on social media. Um, and you got to be consistent with doing it. And next thing you know, things pick up, people start understanding and realizing what it is you're doing, but it takes that consistency of doing it over and over again for people to catch on like, Oh, she's doing this or, Oh, she sells this. It's a great Um, point. But without doing that and just thinking and talking about what it is you want to do, nobody's going to know. So you have to be scared, but do it anyways and put yourself out there so that that. you can do whatever it is that you want to do. I love that, Megan. And I love too, that you were already utilizing social media, like when you were 17 and 18, because I think there's a lot of people that are in my age bracket who have children who are 17, 18, and we can look at them being on social media all the time and we can roll our eyes and we can be like, Oh, they've just, you know, they never get off Instagram or whatever. But I love that you utilized the tool. Like you weren't just consuming content when you were on social media, you literally began using it as a young age to share what it was that you knew, possibly not even realizing that that's exactly what you were doing. But I love how God just continued to pivot you into what you're doing today. And so you know that I'm rooting for you and, and super excited for you. So you. inevitably, there are going to be people on here who want to find you on social media. So where what's your favorite platform? Where do you want them to go check you out? My favorite platform that I'm probably most active on is on Instagram. And you can find me there on, at Megan.Lorson. And then from there, you can find all my other social media platforms, my podcast, my YouTube channel, and all the other things. And if somebody wants to go check out your course, tell them where they could go find that. Um, You can also find that on my Instagram, the link in my bio, all the things are in there, all my courses, subscription groups, all of that. You can find that there too. Megan, thank you so much. All right, friends. So Megan's last name, for those of you just to double check here, um, she's Megan Lorson at L-O-R-S-O-N. So two O's. Go do me a solid. Go follow her on social media. Go find her. Go send this podcast to somebody who's a young 20-something who just doesn't want to live you know, the traditional life that so many of us have been conditioned to, that we have to go to college, and then we have to get a nine to five, and then we have to sit in an office job that we hate. There are so many opportunities outside of that life, you guys. I promise you. And so do that. And then also please go get signed up for my three-day workshop that I'm having at the end of March. It is March 28th through the 30th. It's called Coaching for Profit. And I'm going to teach you how to do basically what I did, which was going from a service-based industry um, to coaching, which is also what Megan did. She has been in a service-based industry um, doing you know, hair for brides for a long, long time and is transitioning and adding the coaching piece into her business. If you have never thought of coaching or teaching, I'm telling you, I think it's the absolute absolute easiest revenue stream that you can add to your business. It's at betterwayprogram.com slash coaching. So go there and grab a seat. Megan, thanks again for being here. Thank you for having me, Jen. I really appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. To everyone else, we will see you on the next episode. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye. Friend, thank you so much for listening to the podcast again this week. I'm so honored that you come back for every episode and that you share the Jennifer Allwood Show with your friends and family. Every time I see you guys post about it on Instagram or Facebook or something, it just makes me do a little happy. So thank you. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast if you never want to miss an episode. So you can go to Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or Spotify or any of the other podcasting places and subscribe each week so that every week you get the new episode when it releases. So just know that I love bringing you relevant content. I love bringing you great guests. And one of the ways you can help us here at Team Allwood is by leaving the podcast a review. So if you have just a second to do that, would you go over and leave a review for the Jennifer Allwood Show? Thank you again. You're amazing. I'm honored to be here. Until next week. Bye-bye.